So your camping trip's gonna be cold and you wanna sleep warm. We got this. What's going on guys? My name is Dan. I am into hiking, backpacking gear. If you guys are into all that stuff too, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That is what this channel is all about. Today, I'm gonna share my proven tips. All right, they're not really proven, but they've helped me out about how you can sleep comfortable and warm in your tent or your hammock or whatever kind of shelter you're gonna be in when it's freezing cold outside. And I'm talking below freezing. And some of you guys maybe got that winter trip already planned and it's on the calendar uh, and you're freaking out about it. You're like, how in the world am I gonna stay warm? I'm hopefully gonna help you guys out, so stick around. First off, I am proud of you for even clicking on this video because, I mean, you clicked on it for one of two reasons, right? Either A, uh, the people who are doing these videos are insane and uh, camping in the winter, you just love to laugh at them because of the misery that they put themselves through. Or uh, B, it's just because you're camping yourself in the winter time and you wanna stay warm, you wanna stay comfortable, and you're like, how in the world am I gonna do this? How am I gonna stay warm? So I've been winter camping for about four years now. I've gone two to three times each year and I have had some great experiences and I've had some not great experiences, but I've learned quite a bit over time, so I'm gonna share what I've learned with you and hopefully it's gonna help you guys out. Also, this is stuff that I've done myself. So this is the, the Dan Becker version of sleeping warm in winter time. So if you guys out there have your own special tips and your own special way of doing it, please share with us in the comments below what you guys do to stay warm in the winter. That would be really helpful for everybody watching. Also, before we get too far on this video, I wanna tell you that this is a video collaboration between myself and a bunch of other YouTube channels, all on the same topic about how to sleep warm in winter. I will put links to all of them in the description below. There's actually way too many to mention here, but it's good to binge watch that kind of stuff because you can get variations of what other people are doing, different parts of the country, different climates, uh, different opinions, all that stuff. So make sure you check out all those other videos in the description below. Okay, so right away, the two things that I consider when I'm about to head out into the insane world of winter camping or backpacking or cold weather or whatever you want to call it are, what's my shelter going to look like and what's my sleep system going to look like? So car camping is going to be a little bit different than backpacking because you can carry the heavier stuff, but either way, you got to consider what you're going to be doing in your shelter and your sleep system. If you are new to winter camping, I'm going to tell you to pick the shelter that you are the most comfortable with sleeping in during the warmer months because you don't want to just switch up your entire shelter when you're dealing with cold weather and then have to worry about just being comfortable on top of it. Because being warm in the wintertime doesn't mean you're going to be comfortable in the wintertime. I mean, seriously, just, uh, you know, try lighting yourself on fire and see how comfortable you are. I don't recommend that. Hey, did you guys know that I now have a Patreon? Patreon is a way for you guys to help support the channel on a monthly basis. It helps me to produce video, to produce content. It takes a ton of time and effort to make these videos. If you guys want to help me do that, I will put a link in the description below where you could head over to the Patreon page and become a supporter of the channel. So winter camping is kind of strange because in the Midwest at least, it gets dark really early. So when you get to camp, there's a lot of standing around and stuff before you fall asleep. So you gotta have a lot of firewood to stay warm. You gotta get there early uh, before it gets dark and you gotta send everybody out on this big firewood exploration and pull out as much as you can and have way more than you think you're gonna need because it usually doesn't last as long as you think it's gonna last. And that's gonna get your core temperature up. That's gonna get you at least prepped before you get inside of your tent or your hammock or whatever you've got. So I think we all know that being insulated is pretty obvious when it comes to cold weather, camping, back packing, whatever. But one thing I want to tell you guys, and I preach this in a lot of videos, is I bring a temperature rated sleeping bag or quilt that is at least 20 degrees below what the weather says it's going to be, especially in the colder seasons. One of the worst things that can happen is you can get out into the back country and realize that the forecast was wrong and it's going to be 10 degrees colder than what it said it was going to be. And if you know anything about comfort ratings on sleeping bags or quilt, in almost every situation with every company, the rating that's on the bag is not the actual rating that you're gonna be comfortable at, it's the rating that you're not gonna be dying at. So one thing that people forget is the insulation underneath them. It's very important to have something that's got a lot of insulating value underneath you, and it's typically called R value, and the higher the R value, the warmer the insulation values that that sleep pad or whatever you've got underneath you is gonna have. That's super important because that ground can really suck that warmth right out of you. Okay, it's right before bed. You're about to jump into your tent. You're about to jump into your hammock. A couple things I would tell you to do before that happens. One is eat a meal. 
It's always good to have something in your stomach working all night long, keep that core temperature moving. The other thing I would recommend is pee. Go pee before you get comfortable inside of your tent. The worst thing in the world is at like three, four o'clock in the morning when you gotta go relieve yourself because you're letting all that heat out that you built up all night long. Not fun, so make sure you do that. Also, you might wanna save a camp chore until right before bed or do a couple jumping jacks before you get into your tent or your hammock. You know, work up some heat, work up some uh, warmth before you jump in there, but make sure you don't get wet. In other words, don't get sweaty. There's nothing worse than getting in your tent or your hammock when you've got sweat on your body or your clothes are wet and you freeze all night long. Not because you had insulation that didn't do its job, but because you made the mistake of getting your body full of sweat before you jumped into a cold, cold situation in your tent. One other thing I like to do is get some hand warmers. Make sure that they are the long lasting hand warmers. Make sure they're the ones that last more than eight hours. You don't wanna have these things not working in the middle of the night and all of a sudden that radiant heat doesn't work. And don't just use them for your hands. What I like to do is I like to put them down by my feet. I like to put them uh, strategically along my body inside of my sleeping bag or my quilt or whatever I'm using just to give myself radiant heat all night long. And that's gonna really help, especially if your uh, sleeping system isn't rated properly for the situation that you're in. So go out and get yourself a good, good set of hand warmers. All right, two more things and then we can end this video. One is make sure that you're evenly insulating your body. A lot of times we have the tendency to wear those really big puffy jackets and maybe we neglected our legs and our feet. And what you want to do is have that upper body work for the rest of your body. So sometimes when my feet are cold in the middle of the night, I'll actually unzip my jacket a little bit, let out some of that radiant heat. It'll make its way down to my feet and it makes all the difference in the world. All right, and then don't forget to be comfortable. We often think that comfort means warmth or warmth means comfort, but that's not necessarily true. I can be nice and warm in the fall, but I'm not comfortable. So if you like to bring two pillows in the summertime or those fall months, bring two pillows in the winter, but don't neglect your comfort. All right, I hope that video warms you up. <laughs> Get it, warms you up. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more, make sure you hit the bell notification so I can send you a video every time it's released and I will see you on the next one.